Hello, YouTube friends. It is my mama's birthday, and we have got her here with us tonight. And she is going to tell us some stuff. Before you, before you do, I want to tell you some things that have happened since you were born on August the 18th, 1928. Here are some of the things that you've witnessed. Calvin Coolidge was President of the United States when you were born, and you have seen 15 presidents in office and eight constitutional amendments. You witnessed the birth of Mickey Mouse on November the 18th of 1928. You are three months older than Mickey Mouse. You saw Amelia Earhart become the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. You witnessed the death of Marilyn Monroe and the assassination of J.F. Kennedy. You've witnessed events that need to be celebrated. You witnessed Neil Armstrong walking on the moon. You saw the creation of the interstate highway system. Uh, you witnessed the repeal of prohibition. And you've seen equal rights and civil rights evolve. You've also witnessed tragedies. You've seen World War II the eruption of Mount St. Helens, the destruction of the World Trade Towers, and the Iraqi War. Plus, you've traveled. You've traveled the world. You've been to Italy, you've been to several Caribbean islands, and you've been to Mexico and Israel. And during all of that, you've been the loving and protective mother of four children. If you had it all to do over again, would you change anything? Nope. Not a thing? Not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us a story. Tell us, some, tell us something about you growing up. When I was growing up, we didn't have electricity. We didn't have all the conveniences that we're used to now. We had wood-burning fireplaces and wood-burning cook stoves and oil lamps. And we had washed, did our washing. We had boiled our clothes in a wash pot and rinsed them in the wash tubs and had rug boards. And I didn't have, we didn't have washing machines or electricity. How old were you when you got your first washing machine? I was... 25 years old when we got our first washing machine. And by and that time, you'd been married for nine years. Yeah. 25 years old when I got my first washing machine. It was roller, rigger type. It wasn't automatic. <laughs> and I thought I'd died and gone to heaven. Yeah. <laughs> when I got that washing machine. And then a few years later... I got the automatic washing machine and a dryer, and I really thought I had it made then. <laughs> <laughs> so life was a lot, a lot different than it is now. It sure was. How did you get your food? Did you just run to the grocery store anytime you needed a can of corn? No, we lived away of what, about five miles from the grocery store. We grew our food. <laughs> we had gardens and... We had corn, we grew corn and all, and we canned and saved our stuff for the winter time. We gathered our food in the summer out of the gardens and canned it. We didn't have a refrigerator or freezer, so we had to can our food and save it for the winter. And how did you get, when you did go to the grocery store, how did you get there? We went on a wagon. <laughs> My daddy had a wagon. We rode the wagon to Millport. You had horses or you had mules or? Mules. Had mules. Uh-huh. And uh, what 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 was the stuff that you got? Your, I know what your favorite treat was from the grocery store. Tell me what it was. It was um, bananas and <laughs> candy. I'm thinking of peanut butter. Yeah, peanut butter. How did peanut butter come back then? It came in quarts. <laughs> We'd buy a quart at a time when we... But it didn't last very long. I loved peanut butter. I'd go in and 
take a spoon and get a spoonful of pean, or peanut butter when I got home from school. <laughs> and so, what do you think has changed the most since you've been around? Well, I can't. I'm thinking specifically of technology. My mother is 88 years old, and she has a Facebook account that she checks religiously. She has a computer that she uses all the time. And to, what do you what, what do you look for on Facebook the most? I look for my friends, and I keep up with my friends and my family on Facebook. And tell me about your travels. Where was your favorite place that you ever went? My favorite place was Israel. What did and you see there? I saw the, the Jesus' tomb and all the places that he, he, where he had been. And I was baptized in the Jordan River. That is awesome. Well, is there anything else you want to tell us? I loved Spain. I was in Spain. I I really enjoyed that trip. Who'd you go to Spain with? Catherine, my granddaughter. She spoke Spanish, so she was able to communicate. Yeah, I couldn't speak Spanish, so mm -hmm. Catherine spoke Spanish for me. And then I went to Canada with my daughter, Tracy, we went on a cruise to Canada. We sure did. That was fun. And that was fun. Saw some beautiful gardens up there. Yeah. In Victoria. Had tea at the Parliament House. Yeah, we did. That's beautiful. Well, all right, Mother, I guess we will call this interview an end. And we'll uh, record the festivities from later on because we've got the... Uh, that baked spaghetti that I made last night is in the oven warming up, getting ready for everybody to get here. And we'll see you guys here in just a little bit. Say bye, Mother. Bye. She's got family pictures everywhere. Congratulations, Peter. You like that picture? I love that picture. <laughs> There's some pictures. There's Jerry. He still looks just like that. Yeah. Let me see if I can get out of the way of the light. That's my sister, Nelda. And there's all of them back then. That's Jerry in my dad's arms there. And... I wish I could get out of the light. There we go. And there's Nelda at the bottom and Herbert, my oldest brother. That's my dad there with my niece, Catherine. Is that Cat? No, that's Leanne. Yeah, that's Leanne. That's my niece, Caroline. She was in some kind of beauty pageant. And there's Herbert. And that one's Jerry. No, that's Herbert. The one on the end is Jerry. It's uh, Herbert, too. Yeah, that's Herbert. Oh, wow, well, it kind of looks like Jerry. <laughs> yeah, that's Herbert. And she's got all her collections over there. And there's my nieces, Catherine and Leanne there. And that's their mom, J uh, Kathy and her, my brother, Jerry. There's my sister, Nelda. And those two were me. One of them's a May Day pageant when I was in about the second grade. And the other one's when I was taking tap dancing lessons. So, got a tour around Mama's house. All right, Mother's telling me about her hamburgers. We had moved to Birmingham, and we lived in the apartments and he worked at Hayes and he came home at 12 o'clock one night and he he went and fixed some hamburgers and brought me one to eat I done been asleep I woke up and ate the hamburger <laughs> and it was so good <laughs> is that the first cheeseburger you ever had 
first cheeseburger I had ever had. And that was, you were 30 years old, weren't you? No, I wasn't, but 25 when we moved to Birmingham. Oh, okay, so you were... 25 when we moved to Birmingham. First cheeseburger. <laughs> that is pretty fun. We always ate vegetables and things. We never ate hamburgers. What do you think of pizza? I don't like it too. I, I can eat pizza, but I don't like it too It's well. not your favorite? It's not my favorite. <laughs> what about all this other convenience food that you got nowadays? What do you think about that? It's really good. You don't have to work so hard. Captain D's and stuff like that. I like going out to eat, but I don't like eating out every day. I like to eat at home. All right, we'll record some more in a minute as it comes to you. I don't usually turn the oven up that We high, got folks well, coming I in now. Look, look, there's a beautiful it. birthday cake that Nilda got. Yeah, and Leanne made a gorgeous salad. And then we got some extra sauce for the baked spaghetti. There we have baked it now. And Nilda brought us some burnt garlic bread. But one side's good, so we're going to be happy with that. And there you go. They're pretty on the other side. So, yes, we're getting ready to eat. I'm, Kathy's bringing something, but I don't know what she's bringing exactly. But, yes, it's going to be yummy. What are you doing in here? I'm following let, you around. Let me turn it around and point at you. Hey, well, it points at me all the time. They're used to seeing me. Is it for your RV thing? It is. They all love mother. Oh, good. Oh, and we got a yummy looking fruit salad over here. Yeah, strawberries and, and blueberries. Well, I'm ready to eat. Are, are we all here? Are you going to finish the hard Yes. Yay. He, he hey, watches hey. all my videos. Herbert does. Aww. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for all your blessings. Thank you for letting me live to see all my children and grandchildren and great grandchildren. All this I ask, and I ask you to bless this food and to help it to nourish our bodies and our bodies for your service. All this we ask in your name. Amen. Amen, Herbert. Hey, Herbert. Hi, Herbert. Bye, Herbert. Hi, Herbert. Hi, Herbert. Hey. Hey. One side's good. You can just eat till you get to the back of it. Would you quit that? <laughs> Thank you. You know when you work with your family, it's a little more family Yeah, it's not my just. I'm gonna come over here and get some glare off that light. Howdy. Thanks for documenting our dinner. My yeah. pleasure. It will be on Facebook tonight. Can't wait. We'll all have to tag it. We tagged in it. Okay. 
Oh, Ron 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 you look like a model no matter what you do, Leanne. She's like, this. Nice. This is just too much. Hey, how's Grover? He's good. Grover's 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 good. Is Jim getting his singing voice ready? Y'all come sing. No candles to blow out. Candles to blow out. We have to call the fire department. Y'all come sing. You know, you might get killed on the morning. She does have a fork and a knife. Up there. Yes, she does. A big old knife. It's pretty. Okay. Are we the only ones yes. there? Yes. Well, come on up here, Catherine. Somebody that knows how to sing, come in here. That's why they're not coming. Y'all come on. Come on. Your grandmother wants something to remember from her 88th birthday. Where's the rest of them? Gary, you gotta get next to the microphone. <laughs> That's right. We gotta have the band member in here. Mm -hmm. Come on, you gotta sing. Okay. okay. Y'all ready? Okay. Somebody start us. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mother. Okay, who's going to cut it? Now you want to? Nope. Nope. Then when you go in and get your paste. Here's the aftermath. Not a lot of spaghetti left. All the bread's gone. That fruit salad. That just looks really good with angel food cake in it. Salad's nearly gone. It's been good one. You got a Visa gift card from Catherine. And you're getting your nails done Saturday with me. Happy birthday to you. I love you. Love you too. Are y'all leaving, Catherine? Not just yet. I'm... Did y'all drive over? No. And you didn't wear a shirt? No. I didn't. See what? Who's that one from? This is from Dale. bag. That is pretty bag. Oh, it's pretty. Y'all like the. Oh, that helmet. Ooh. Pretty, pretty shirt. Oh, I like that. That looks like a. Yeah, that's good. Kind of like peacock looking. Oh, that's another one. Oh, she did good. I like that one too. Yeah. He feels so old. Is that from Leanne or from Kathy? Earrings. She had to work to find those because those are clip ons. <laughs> oh, those ma that matches the other one. Oh, very pretty. I like the pattern on the back, too. That's beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Sure is. You like that a lot. I'll wear it because I never. I need long sleeves and I'll wear these. We're going to terribly, terribly have to get you some leggings to wear with that one. Oh, that'd be pretty. You know, those are really in style. I've seen a lot of the. I'll wear them with like a, the shirt dresses. Thanks. I like the 
Yeah. Sure. You have them now, too. It's pretty. Yeah. Kathy gave me that for Christmas. Well, Tad! Forgot when. She gave it to me. <laughs> My friend, my my YouTube friend MJ, she says roll tide to me all the time. Roll tide. It's Carol, Catherine's the one that you need to say roll tide to, MJ. <laughs> <laughs> I shirt. Catherine, do you have anything that you would like to tell your grandmother on her birthday? Roll tide, Grandma. Number seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> She's only seventeen. That's what. <laughs> Oh, I'm not just kidding, I love you. Oh, mother, mother, mother. Jerry is 16 years older than me, and he's the one closest to me. When they said you were the baby, they weren't joking. I was seriously the baby. He was graduating. She just married him all.